morning. We are out shed hunting again. <laughs> it's uh like March 19th and uh, we're out here looking for sheds. So welcome back to another video and uh, stick with us. We're going to go pick up some sheds today. So hopefully we get into some browns or some decent bull tracks in here. Um, some decent bull sign. There's some rubs. And uh, so that's what we've been looking at so far this morning. Um, we'll see how long I'm going to last. I don't know. My I kind of jacked up my foot last week. Last weekend. Walking through the mud and the rocks and all that crap. So we are going to try and last as long as possible today and kind of just take it easy and uh, try not to jack it up any more than it already is because it's pretty sore. Um, anybody that knows anything about feet, maybe put it down in the, in the comments what I might have done. It's kind of on the outside of my foot um towards the heel more like middle of my foot towards the heel so i don't know i know this mud is not helping but that's okay we're gonna power through and hopefully pick up some brownies today so stick with us and we'll see you guys in a little bit with a horn hopefully so Catch you later. Alrighty, well, we got a uh, first horn of the day. And uh, it's just this broken piece right here. Nothing too crazy. Kind of old, chalky. Damn near broke that off right there, too. But, right on. Well, probably, uh, make this a shed sacrifice too even though it's not really a shed it's just a broken off beam but so yeah we'll just uh set this one in the trees again and keep on trucking i guess so all right see you in a bit all right well we've been hiking for quite a while quite a while now and uh it is so muddy. It is such a pain in the butt to walk through. But we're going to keep on going. The elk tracks weren't in here like they were like a couple months ago or a month ago. And uh, a little bit discouraged. I, I did run into one spot where the elk had beat the crap out of the place. But looked like a lot of cow tracks, some smaller bulls. So, I don't know. Maybe some of the other bulls moved off farther down. And we'll just have to walk down there and go see, I guess. But, yeah, so that's kind of the update for now. It's, um, I don't know, maybe 10 o'clock. I don't even know. I don't even know what time it is. But anyways, yeah, so that's an update. Um, gonna keep on moving. Hopefully we pick up a brown. I need to find at least one brown today to keep my motivation going, at least to maybe come back in here later and find some more, but I don't know. So, I guess we'll find out here shortly. So, stay tuned. I'll keep you posted, and uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, well, we've been walking for a while, and I walked over and glassed a canyon and glassed up a set, looks like a white set, a six point, it's a decent set, but I can't get it today, it's going to have to be another trip, and then uh, I stumbled on a chalk, walking over to the edge, and then uh, just walked up on this other chalk. Been here for ever. There's the other part of it. 
I think I'm just going to leave those right here. We're right where they belong. It's been a long day so far. Getting a little chilly. But, uh, yeah, so at least we're finding some, some antlers. It's not great. Not what I was expecting. But I did get into some more bull tracks finally down here a little lower. So maybe we'll find something worth keeping. So stay tuned. Day's not over. So we'll see you in a little bit. Well, can't seem to get away from the chalks. I haven't found a keeper antler yet today. And I found three chalks and then, I, well, I glassed up that set. But <clears throat> that doesn't really count because I can't go get it right now. So those aren't going towards the shed total until I can go pick them up. Which may not be for a while. They're in a pretty rough spot. So, got another donation back to the woods. We'll just leave it right there. And, uh, yeah. So, Chalk City. Oh, man kind of working our way back towards the truck now so see what happens I guess we're uh, trying so that little spike horn went to go look at an elk rub and it was just laying right there in the rub but it's about 12 years too late so Anyways, we'll uh, keep on trucking through here and hopefully find something worth keeping here in a minute. So, okay. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, well we're walking up on another antler. And it looks like it might be the first keeper of the day. Oof. Oh, God. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. I might take this one just because it's the best condition chalk that we've picked up today. Oh, man. Ah! Yeah, I think we'll keep it. I don't know, man. This is getting pretty ridiculous. So, yeah, pretty rough. All right. Well, I'll throw this on the pack, I guess, and since the decent, it's the best chalk that I found today. So, all right, we'll keep it moving. Got to pack something out of here, I guess. So, all right, we'll see you in a bit. All righty, well, just walked up on an old salt lick and uh didn't look like anybody had been walking through here in a while and just found a dang nice coos deer shed finally something worth keeping heck yeah check that out heck yeah man that's a pretty good one not a giant or nothing Short little shank. Yeah, it's not that big. I thought it was bigger than what it is, but heck yeah. Cool little eye guard. Right on. Maybe the other side's right here somewhere. I don't know. I might have to loop around a little bit. Yeah, Cope don't care about sheds. 
Heck yeah. Little whitetail shed. All right. I'll pick that up. I'll get some pictures of it. And, uh, heck yeah. First keeper shed of the day. Finally. Not a bad little horn. So, sweet. All right. See you in a bit. Hopefully with some more, more whitetail sheds. That'd be cool. Well, that'll do it for today. Um, that was a pretty long day. I'm beat. That mud in this country is no fun. Um, so we ended the day with that little whitetail shed. Um, the chalk that I kept because it was the best condition chalk that I found. Um, and I found two other chalks that three including that spike that I uh, sent back to the universe and then glassed up that set on the other side of the canyon so um, yeah I mean not a bad not a bad day just uh, did a lot of miles I don't even know how many miles I did I can look on onyx really quick but um, I think I did let's see says I did 9.09 .09 miles, but I didn't start the tracker until a little bit later, so I probably did around 10 miles. Um, so yeah, that was a pretty good day. Uh, Cope's cleaning himself. It's muddy. It's hardly worth it, but got to come out and try. So if you, uh, if you ain't out here trying, you ain't going to pick up any shed, so we'll just leave it at that. So anyways, going to head home, rest up, and try and do it again next weekend. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll get back at you soon. We'll see you on the next one.